Hey guys, so this week's Makeup Monday um, I am actually doing on Saturday night. I'm about to go out to a friend's birthday and um, I thought that I would show you my um, look that I've done for wearing out this evening. Um, it is just quite a smoky eye, quite similar to the look I wore for my birthday last week. Um, but um, I've got some really nice lashes on from um, Urban Decay and um, just fairly sort of normal ready lips. So um, keep watching and I shall show you how to get this look. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is um, apply uh, an eye primer. The one I'm using is from Benefit and it is um, called Lemonade. Um, the idea of any eye primer is just basically to give you a nice neutral tone to the skin and also to help any eyeshadow stay in place. Um, so just pop that one on, pretty much just cover the lid and slightly above, um, then into the tear duct and just below the bottom lashes there. Um, you can see I've already got some mascara on, that is then so basically I, when I put my false lashes on later um, it will already have something to stick to. Um, then I'm going to go over with um, a product from number 17, it's the Wild Metallics Eyes. Um, this one is in Wild Nude. There. It will focus in and it's basically quite a bronzy colour there so quite a nice gold colour and with this one I'm just using my finger to apply this I'm going to go over the whole of the lid take it down into the tear duct slightly as well and because it's quite creamy you can just basically smooth it out quite easily there and that will just give you a bit of a shimmery base to work with then once you've done that, you're going to use, um, I'm just going to use um, quite a hard um, contouring brush there for the eyes. And this is going to go straight into the socket, sorry, contouring brush, a socket brush there, straight into the socket there. And we're going to use a bit of a mixture of a dark brown. Let's see if I can take the palette out. This is just um, a real general palette there. So there's loads of colours here, but we're going to go in with a dark brown and a black mixed together. And we're basically going to draw in the socket line. So again, this doesn't have to be neat because you're going to blend it out, but this just packs on the colour. So you can see it's going just slightly above and into the socket and then downwards in a sort of a V shape on the outer corner of the eye there. And then go in with your fluffy brush and basically blend that away. And with this one, we're going to take it upwards and outwards. And then with this, you're just going to keep packing on the colour until you're happy with the amount of um, dark sort of pigment that you've got there. So once you're happy with the amount of pigment that you have on the eye there, we're then going to go in with a gel liner. And the one I've got is a Kryolin one with the little face on there. And it's just um, gel um, black liner. And the brush that I'm used is an angle um, liner brush there. Now with this one today, I'm not actually wanting this to go on really precisely. Um, I'm quite happy if it's sort of a fairly sort of um, thickish line because I want to smudge it out a little bit. Um, but I'm still going to sort of flick it outwards and just work roughly, sort of as close as you can towards the lash line. Obviously don't go mental, but um, don't worry if it's not really like a tight line in there. Um, then going to take it all the way down into the tear duct. And then whatever excess you have on your brush, we're then going to take into the waterline. But I don't want this one to be really packed on, on the waterline there. I want it to stay quite sort of subtle. So again, quite smudged out really. But a little bit of definition there. So not too, too full on. Then all I'm going to do is use my finger, as you can see it's what I did on the other eye. And just basically pat where I've put the liner on. And then we're going to pop on some eye. Now the lashes that I'm using are these ones here. They are like a demi lash and they're from Urban Decay. I don't know if they've even got like a name or a code or anything. I think they're just half lashes. Um, so that's the ones I'm going to use and then just use my normal duo glue to stick them on. So once your eyelashes are on, um, give them a little, a few moments just to dry off a little bit before you pop any mascara on. But in the meantime, you can pop on if you feel that you need any sort of darker bits which I do like to put just in the um, sort of right in the socket line there just to sort of give that little bit more impact on the outer edge and with these lashes because they are quite big um, it does just sort of all pulls the look together 
um, and then also if you need any more just take that underneath um, then once you've done that pop on some mascara finish off the rest of your face and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing for the look so this is the finished look here um, you can see I've done obviously my base and everything I've just added a bit of a pinky blush um, to the cheeks and a little bit of a highlighter which I think is a Vivo one I can't see where I've put it but um yeah it's a Vivo highlighter which I really really like one of the baked, baked bronzers I think and then for my lips you might think this is a little bit random because I have used the MUA nude um, and then on top of that I have literally dabbed and I mean gone on literally dabbed it on and then like sort of rubbed it together with um, this is the sleek cranberry um, lipstick which was in their winter pack I think I can't remember when Christmas time I guess um, so that is the finished look and the other thing that I always like to do is just use like a, a flat brush just go in with a little bit of a white um, preferably a shimmery one and just take it into the very corner of the eye there um, and that will just finish off the look completely um, and then with my hair all I've done is just swept it over to the side um, it's all curly still so I've just left that there and then just some silver sort of earrings there and I wanted to wear silver tonight so that I could wear my um, bracelet that I got for my birthday from my lovely sister so um, that is what I am wearing this evening um, I hope you like this look and give it a go it's really easy really nice and dramatic um, perfect for a Saturday night and um, hopefully I shall see you in the next video